Recently, Ducati unveiled their race bike, the V21L, for the Moto E Championship. And this might be the most influential motorcycle that Ducati made in a while. For those of you who don't know or never heard about the Moto E Championship, it's a class of motorcycle racing that only uses electric motorcycles and is sanctioned by the FIM. This racing series was first inaugurated in 2019, and as of now, the motorcycle for the racing is supplied by an Italian electric motorcycle manufacturer, the Energica Motor Company. But from 2023 onwards, the race bikes will be supplied by our red-handed Italian, the Ducati. By now, it is clear that our beloved internal combustion engines are in their last days. Many countries have already planned to eliminate the sales of ice-powered cars by the end of this decade. And I'm pretty sure that the ice-powered motorcycles will be next. So this opportunity gives Ducati a chance to prepare for the future and may give a leg up among the competitors. Unlike the other race machines from Ducati, this one is pretty clean in terms of design. And like the other Ducatis, it's gorgeous too. There are no massive winglets or underbelly spoilers or disc cooling vents. The entire bodywork is done in carbon fiber. The chassis, which seems to be monocoque in construction, the subframe, the swing arm, is also built from carbon fiber. In the current race bike, the 20 kWh battery is inserted in the tubular steel frame. Here, Ducati is trying to make the battery an integral part of the chassis itself by making it a stressed member. This setup is nothing new for Ducati as they have used it for many years in their road and race bikes. The battery is located between the rear suspension linkage and the motor. This whole setup will save a considerable amount of weight when compared to the current race bike. The current bike is a bit of a porker, weighing in at 260 kilograms. With this new setup, Ducati is probably trying to bring down the weight to a 200 to 230 kilograms range. As it stands, the Moto E race bike is slower than Moto 3 bikes. And a company like Ducati, who has a rich racing pedigree, can't afford to lose to a Moto3 race bike. There are no words about the specs of the new race bike, and it is very unlikely that we may see a drastic change from the current specs. The current race bike uses an oil-cooled permanent magnet AC motor that makes 163 brake horsepower and 250 Nm of torque from 0 to 5000 rpm. It can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 2.8 seconds and has a top speed of 270 km per hour. The power is supplied by the 20 kWh battery. It is very likely that these specs will be carried over to the new bike. If so, with the revised setup of the new bike, we may witness a noticeable improvement in the track performance. Ducati may not introduce an electric road bike anytime soon. But it is indeed a piece of good news that a well-established player like Ducati is diving headfirst into the world of electric motorcycle racing. But the real question is, will the enthusiasts want a Ducati without the mechanical symphony? What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you love it, please subscribe to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.